So in this look, I will finally be doing my Sacramento Kings makeup tutorial. And please read the information box. After this, I only have one NBA look left, and I'm going to be doing San Antonio Spurs. Any other um, basketball team will be done next season. I'm going to be done with these after San Antonio Spurs, like I said. And as far as Chicago Bulls go, a lot of people have been asking me to do that one. But it's kind of pointless because their colors are just like Miami Heat's. And they will be kind of doing the same tutorial twice. So I don't want to do that. So if you want to refer to that video for reference, then feel free to do that. But I don't plan on doing Chicago Bulls. So anyway, into this tutorial. For my eyeshadow base, I used Growing Paint Pot. And I started off with my crease color. This is called Makeup Forever number 92. Or it's called number 92 by Makeup Forever. It's just a really bold purple. And this is going to be swept through my crease with a 222 brush. Oh, that's not a 222. 222. Now I'm going to take my eyelid color, well actually I'm going to drag that purple a little bit into my outer V, not too far inwards. Now I'm just going to go in with a lid color. I'm not going to use anything too bold and stand out-ish. I'm going to use Bamboo from MAC. It's just slightly lighter than my skin tone, as you can see on the other side. I'm going to use a MAC 239 brush for this. And just pack this all over my eyelid. For my outer V and deep crease, I'm gonna use ground cover, a mixture of this color. This is from Fashion Flower, haven't had a chance to pot it yet, and print eyeshadow, which is a darker gray. I'm gonna mix both of those and apply them with a MAC 226 brush. Now I'm just going to go back and touch up all the colors, including applying my brow highlight. For that, I'm using vanilla eyeshadow. It looks like this. I'm using a 227 brush for that. You can use a variation of brushes. You don't use the ones I use. For my tear duct area, I'm going to take rice paper, just a shimmery um, champagne. Just make sure everything's blended out, which it isn't. Ooh. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use print eyeshadow, or a mixture of print and ground cover like that and in my inner corner I'm gonna take rice paper which is the same color used in my tear duct area I'm gonna overlap it with the gray eyeshadow and it's gonna create like a silvery kind of color and then on top of that or directly on top of the gray part I'm gonna use gray utility PowerPoint eye pencil which is just a gray pencil and I'm also gonna apply this in my waterline and I'm gonna tight line with feline coal power up there Upper liner, I'm going to take black track fluid line, just a black gel liner. That's going to go closest to my lash line and it's also going to be used to hide the glue on my false eyelashes. And then, right on top of that, oh, focus, okay. Right on top of that, I'm going to use another gel liner. This one's discontinued. You don't have to use this. This is called Silver Stroke by MAC. And it's just a silver gel liner. If you don't have this, they have a silver liquid liner, super slick liquid liner. I can't think of a name, but it comes in something like this. I'm going to show it to you. It comes in a container that looks like this. Um, this one is marked for glamour. 
but they have a silver one just like this and you can use that or any other silver liquid liner that you have in your collection and then for my lashes I'm using 523's from Red Cherry they look like that and then I'm going to apply some concealer underneath my eyes this is NW30 select moisture cover I already have it on the side because I thought that was medium plus mineral last skin finish which is pretty much the same color as that sort of and I'll return and show you what else I used. So I've completed my eyes. I'm going to move on to my blush. For my blush, I'm using Copper Tone from MAC. It looks like this. I'm going to use a 129 brush. Of course I can't find it. Here it is. And then for my cheek highlight, I'm going to use Silver Aura Mineralized Sheer Sheen Powder. Silver Dusk is pretty close. I'm just going to apply this with that same brush. I'm going to use this in the cap. I have no idea what I'm using my lips. I didn't even think about it. Actually, I'm going to use a nude lip pencil. This is called Oak. Strip down is not beside me. That's the one I would have preferred to use, but I'm just gonna use this one and kind of nude out my lips with it. Like that. Just look dead as possible. And then for my lipstick, I'm gonna use Summer Shower, which is a glaze. And it doesn't come out this color at all. This is also from the Fashion Flower Collection. This is going to go on top of that. <laughs> I just got some of my braces. Ew. And my lips look deadly. Like extremely dead. So I'm going to apply a gloss on top. Something with color. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. I actually really don't want to put gloss on because my lips are kind of glossy already with the texture of the lipstick. I'm going to go in with another lip pencil. This is Spice. I'm just kind of throwing something together <laughs> just to kind of darken this up because my lips look ugh right now. I'm kind of blending in the corners a lot to make it a little three-dimensional look. And I love how this looks. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take just a dab of a little more summer shower and put it in the middle. And I only put that in the center of my lips. I'm going to show you guys how awesome this looks. But these are the eyes. And the cheeks. Not too contoured. And the lips. Look at this lip color. Oh my gosh. That came out really, really, really pretty. I like how that combo looks. And I have clothes on. <laughs> Just trying to hide. My goodies. My goodies. My goodies. Not my goodies. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Feel free to check out my blog. I will have more pictures. And oh, I will have pictures. And a list of all the products I used. I really hope you guys like how this turned out as much as I did. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.